if you're going to make a shooting board, the most stable shooting boards are um, made out of plywood. So there was me this morning ratting through my timber shed, trying to find some manky old bit of timber I didn't want, which this Tasmanian oak fitted the bill. And then I thought, why don't I do one out of plywood? And look at this plywood sitting here, so let's do it. If you look up donkey's ear on Google, and I'll show you just, there's some, there's some incredible ones that people have made. Some of them have ramps that wide and some are like that. And some actually have um, two apertures that you put your timber through and then you wedge it and then you, oh, it's just too complex. I just want it for making boxes. So basically, um, none of my boxes Oh, where's the... Well, none of my boxes are over six inches big, so I'm never going to do one that big. So this is where you come bilingual. 150 mil, which is six inches. And so whatever that is going to be... Depends what plane I use, too. I'll work it on this plane here, because I want to start using the shooting plane more than anything else. Where's, where's that other shooting board? Here we go. I'll take it off of this one. Okay, so that's 600. So I'll go from here through to there. That's gonna clear that. All right, so I've got to rip a bit of 240 by 600. Go, we might do that. Oh, I've, I've trained the design again. What I'm going to do, I'm going to make one with a ramp in it. If I'm doing this all the time in the same spot, all I'm doing, I'm not using the rest of this blade, I'm just using this bit. Whereas if I have it ramped, when I go down, so planing like that, I'm actually got a shearing action going and I'm using more of the blade. So, might we, we'll, we'll whack a ramp on this one. That's it. I like the way my brain works, when it works. <laughs> so we'll have a ramp going down that way. No, we'll have this in the same plane, but we'll make this a ramp. Done. All right, now, how are we going to do it? <clears throat> I don't know. I really have no idea. It doesn't have to be any specific angle. I guess we just... We're just playing. Sounds like, sounds like a plan. We'll go from there to there. I've got no idea. A bit the same as a tapered leg, I suppose. I've, I've forgotten how to do tapered legs. This is literally flying by the seat of your pants. I, I've forgotten a lot of stuff. Here we go. quite what I wanted, but the theory's there. We might still do all right, because it doesn't have to be a particular precise angle. All I wanted was a couple of wedges that were the same. Okay, so we'll get rid of that one. So I've got one wedge there. So this other one, let's see. All right, we have two 
what happened when I was pushing that through, I had the uh, tip wasn't touching the fence at the other end. So I had the block down here and I was focused on making sure that block was right, but the tip moved away. So we have a slight variation and we'll just plane them flat. You can hear that hit and miss. Getting a bit hard to push there because it's wet. Okay. So that small little bit there. And I think we've had a win. Look at that. Two identical ramps. Good stuff. So we'll put them there. Oh. I'm excited now. I've never tried one of these before. And now what I want to do is actually make the ramp and then we can work out the distances from that. Possibly I should have made the ramp first, but it doesn't matter. I won't use high glue for this, I'll use PVA because it glues quicker. So that goes there, that goes there. That goes there. Okay, so let's glue quick, that up. Quick drawing stuff. This is your staple is in place. And when that's dried, we'll just clean this up and we can put it together. See, I do use modern tools sometimes. It's very nice to have them there for holding, holding things in place. That may be as far as we can go, I think. Put that on there and I'll have a rail running up there, which is going to be nice. So what we want is a piece 180 wide, like that. We can put the ramp on and then this will mount on top of the ramp. And I reckon we're going to be using yeah, look at that. I don't know if you can see that, but wherever I position this, I'll put it there, I'm about halfway through the blade, and then when I come down to the end, I'm about three quarters through the blade. So I'm using a lot more of the blade than I would normally. Now that should sit there. Oh, look at that. I'm, I'm starting to get excited. And then this can sit there, like that. And then I'll put a fence down the side here. And there we go. Just got to wait for this to set. And that can be up there. And I'll put a fence on there. And we will be ready to rock and roll. I think we've just got to wait for the glue to dry.